This is how direct injection engine intake valve look like at 40,000 miles. In this video, I will show you how remove intake manifold and step-by-step -step clean intake valves. First, we need disconnect battery negative and positive terminal and move it to a side. Then, remove alternator cover bolt using 10 millimeter socket. Remove cover. Remove two bolts for alternator cable on top of compressor. Disconnect compressor and alternator connectors. Remove alternator cable nut and washer. Removed clip connect to manifold. And pry to lock forward and pull up to release cable. Put cable to the side. Now start removing intake tube. Unlock two locks on filter box. Disconnect mass airflow sensor and clip. Remove vacuum hose under the tube on driver side. Now we can remove whole tube out. Remove four bolts using 10 millimeter socket on the throttle body. And put on the side, it does not need to disconnect two coolant hoses. Disconnect MAP sensor and EGR connector. Remove brake booster hose clip. Disconnect vacuum hose. Use 12 millimeter sockets. Loose three bolts on the high pressure fuel pump cover. And slide out cover under AC hose. Disconnect fuel pump connector. Pry out engine harness. Clip on the back of manifold. Disconnect TGV connector on driver side. Now move to right side. Back of manifold. Remove PCV hose. Purge valve hose. two connectors next to. Remove TGV connector on right side and clip. And fuel hose lock as well. Remove fuel pipe bracket holding with a 10 millimeter bolt.
Use 12 millimeter sockets. Remove two nuts on EGR unit. And Use E8 Torx socket, remove two studs. Loosen all six bolts and remove bolts from manifold. Two short one on both end and long bolt in the middle. Now we can slowly lift up manifold and check fuel pipe are not holding by the manifold. Don't forget EGR gasket. Remove cylinder head plate on both sides and you can see how dirty, how much oil sludge from PCB system. Using 19 millimeter socket and a long half of inch ratchet to turn engine to counterclockwise and make sure all four valves are closed on one side at a time. This is how much carbon deposits build up on 40,000 miles car. First, I start using long metal rod, scraping off the big piece of carbon. Then I spray some brake cleaner into intake valve and check there is not leaking into cylinders and wait five to 10 minutes. Rescraping on the valve back and forward, try to break off many carbons as I can. Now I can remove all the brake cleaner out of cylinder valves. I use kitchen towel paper or you can use brake fluid suction pump, suck all the brake fluid out. Even get most brake cleaner out, still has some residue inside. So I use compressing air, blow out any residue. Make sure there's nothing left inside and not getting any residue, go into internal components and possibly damaging engine. Finally, clean the cylinder surface and will be done on one side. And don't forget cover intake using a rag or masking tape. Make sure don't let anything drop inside. I'll do the same procedure on the other side, closing all four valves, scrap off big pieces, spray brake cleaner, wait five to 10 minutes, scraping again, remove all fluid out, blow out any residue, make sure nothing can get inside cylinders prevent any damage. Cleaning cylinder head plate, I just slowly spraying brake cleaner and wait. It will take some time to break into carbon and meltdown. We'll clean it out with a rag, has some brake cleaner on both sides. Always. Clean the throttle body when disconnect battery. It helps throttle body relearn and better respond when pressing gas pedal. And clean the EGR pipe as well. Before put manifold back, always check all four cylinder head plate is on, sitting correctly, and replace two manifold gaskets as well. To reinstall manifold it just like how removing manifold in backward.
Before I start the car right away, I like turn on ignition on and off one or two times. It helps throttle body relearn and won't having rough initial start.